Alipay is a popular mobile wallet payment method used by customers in China. Alipay allows for a so-called app-to-app redirect, which is the fastest and most convenient way for your users to pay as it opens the Alipay app on their phone for easy authentication of the payment, after which they are redirected back into your app. If you haven't already, please watch the previous couple of videos where you learn how to add the Stripe SDK to your iOS project, as well as how to set up a custom URL scheme for the app to app redirect. Lastly, in a previous video, you also see how we set up the backend model to communicate with our server to uh, set up the payment intent, which we can then use to create the payment with Alipay on the client. To quickly recap, in our big backend model, we have two methods, the prepare payment intent method, which uh, sends a post request to our uh, server. And we have an on completion method, which then updates our uh, payment status as well as error. And if the payment succeeded, it then resets our demo and creates a new payment intent for us. So now let's go ahead and create a new Swift UI view here for Alipay. So we can just say new file, uh, Swift UI view, and we call it Alipay. Now, the great thing here with um, Swift UI is we can get some previews of our uh, views. So here it's now just a hello world view that is defined here and our preview here. Now in the next step, let's make uh, sure that our backend server is running. So I have the node server running here on localhost 4242 to be able to create um, payment intents for us. Uh, we have explanations for the different servers and uh, server languages uh, in a different video playlist. So you can see that in the description below. Okay, so now let's actually go ahead and replace our view here with a simple vStack. And here we're going to uh, put in our Alipay button. But so first of all, when uh, our uh, vStack view here loads, uh, we want to then create our um, payment intent. And so from our backend model, we then call the prepare payment intent method. So that means we need um, our uh, backend model, which is an observed uh, object. Uh, let me just store that here in a model variable, which is our backend model. Let's get an instance to that. And then we also need um, a state variable. We'll just uh, call it loading and just say that is uh, false for now. Okay, and so now once our uh, VSEC appears, we want to then prepare our payment intent. We have our method, which is Alipay. And then we set the currency to USD here. I'm testing this on uh, kind of USD Stripe account. Okay, great. So now if we uh, resume our view, well, there's currently nothing in the view. So let's actually change that. And uh, in our view, what we actually want to do is uh, if we have a payment int uh, intent, so once our payment intent has been prepared. Uh, we want to show uh, our Alipay button. And otherwise, we just show um, a loading state. And so let's say payment uh, intent. And we get that from our uh, payment intent params on um, the model. And so once we have that, we then show our uh, button, which is say uh, buy with Alipay. And we'll add some logic there in a second. But so if we don't have uh, a payment intent, we just show a loading text. 
Great, let's give that a save and um, let's resume our preview here, see if that all works fine. So we only see the loading state here because the preview doesn't actually run our prepare payment intent. So we actually would have to build our app. So let's quickly do that and run it on the simulator. Okay, here we are. Let's select Alipay. So we got our view and you can see here now in the console log that our backend model has uh, created the payment intent and now we have our button that doesn't do anything yet. So let's fix that. So basically when our uh, button is tapped, we then want to say uh, that we're loading. And um, now that we're loading, we want to create our um, payment, uh, our payment intent parameters. So we say payment intent um, and we get the payment method params. And so now we create uh, a couple of objects from the Stripe SDK. So we actually need to import uh, Stripe here so we can uh, utilize them. And so the first for the payment method params is Stripe payment method params. Uh, and then we say Alipay. So for Alipay, we get the Stripe payment method Alipay params. Um, for billing, uh, we could add some billing details here, but we're just gonna set them to null for now, uh, as well as metadata we could append if we wanted to, but let's just set that um, to nil as well. And then uh, we have the payment method params and we also need the uh, payment method options. And so these are uh, confirm payment method options, Stripe, uh, confirm uh, payment method options here. And so now that we have um, our payment method uh, options, we can then um, add our Alipay options and these are Stripe, uh, confirm Alipay options. Great, and so now lastly what we need to do is we need to set our return URL and um, we set that to our custom URL scheme so that the Alipay app can then redirect back into our app uh, if you haven't set up your custom URL scheme, uh, check out the video in the description below on how to do that. So our custom URL scheme is just accept uh, a payment. And then we need to give it the roof safe pay. So that's where Alipay is going to redirect us back to. Great, and now we can use uh, a handy method called Con uh, payment confirmation sheet uh, that handles uh, a bunch of stuff in the background for us, including the redirect off to um, the Alipay um, app. So here we need to provide a, a two-way binding to our uh, loading state. So that uh, is managed by the payment confirmation sheet here. Then we need our payment uh, parameters and we need our on completion method and we get that from our um, model. But we just get uh, on completion, just send in a reference here. And then lastly, what we want to do is we want to set the button to disabled if we are in fact in a loading state. Great, and so now when the button is clicked, um, our uh, Alipay specific payment method params and options are being set. And then we call our payment confirmation sheet to redirect off to Alipay. So now let's actually give that uh, a try. 
let's build the app again. Uh, select Alipay, we can see our payment intent was created. Uh, and now we just say buy with Alipay. Uh, the payment sheet is redirecting us to the Alipay app. Now here in test mode uh, and on the simulator, I don't have the Alipay app installed. So we're just getting redirected to a Stripe uh, test page. And now if I authorize this test page, we're then getting redirected back into our app. But as you can see, nothing has happened here yet. So we want to kind of show uh, some outcome here. So basically what we can do is uh, sorry, under the so here we have our V stack. And so we're just going to add a condition here. So once we have our uh, payment status, and the payment status we also get from our model payment status, then we want to show uh, an H stack. And here we just uh, add a quick switch statement over the payment status. And we need uh, a couple of cases. So the first case is uh, succeeded. Succeeded. And in that case, we just say uh, payment complete. Now the next case would be uh, if the payment failed. So that is the failed status. And then we just say payment failed. And then we have one more uh, status which is cancelled. And in that case, we just say Payment cancelled. And then in the uh, default case, we just add an unknown default. We just say unknown status. Okay, great. So now we have some feedback for our customer. And so let's just run this again. Select Alipay, we got a payment intent, buy with Alipay. Let's um, actually go ahead and fail this test payment. And now we can see the payment has failed. Um, now we can retry with the same payment intent when it failed. And now we can just authorize the test payment. And now it was successful and a new payment intent was created for us to do another payment. Great. Now every everything works as expected, as you can see, and now we're ready to accept Alipay payments from our customers in China. Thanks for tuning in and see you soon.